Okay, I'm back. So let's let's uh, continue on with our with our uh, tracking here. So now we just created a null null layer or null object, um, and we named it tracking data. Um, and don't get confused. This is not the actual tracking data. It's just name of the layer that I gave it. Um, the tr actual tracking data is in the cut footage here, cut footage layer. Um, so what I want to do is go over into our tracker controls and hit edit target and make sure tracking data or whichever layer you want to um, hold your tracking data is selected and hit OK and hit OK and you notice apply uh, becomes uh, available so you can you can hit apply and I just noticed of course my my absolutely fantastic spelling. I have it tracking. So let's call it tracking. T R A C K I N G. Okay, there we go. And so what we're going to do is we're going to apply the tracking data that's in cut footage, our cut footage layer, to the null object layer called tracking data. So just hit apply and apply dimensions X and Y. You can choose X only or Y only. We want both X and Y, obviously. And hit OK. And in the position, uh, position area of our null object named tracking data, is all the keyframes for um, for the tracking data. Because uh, it's a position, it keyframes the position. Now, uh, you notice we're now in our composition um, uh, stage here. We went from our layer. If you want to, you know, redo your tracking and stuff, it's under layer footage, and composition footage <clears throat> is the one where we can, you know, scrub our actual, you know, timeline and stuff like that. But anyway, um, so now what I want to do is I say I want to put, oh, excuse me, a really long day. Say this this ninja guy here that uh, you know I tracked. He said something about my sister. You know, really ticked me off. So I want to remove him completely from this film. So nobody know, ever knew that he was in this film. So uh, I'm going to create a new solid. Yes. And I'm just going to shrink it down to a human sized. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the black uh, black solid later. Hit P for position. Hold down the Alt, Alt key and click position. And that will bring up our uh, expression controls. <clears throat> and I'm going to select our pick whip here. See, I got that little stringy thing. And we're going to uh, pick whip the position of the tracking data layer, which has our tracking data. And there you go. And now we have the black box. It's completely masked out that, that dirty bastard that said nasty things about my little sister. So we have that going there. And now, uh, every once in a while, you'll have a problem where maybe your anchor point is out somewhere and when you um, pick whip or, or parent uh, your object to your tracking data your object will end up out here and that's just a problem with <coughs> excuse me the position of your anchor point sorry I'm just getting over bronchitis and it doesn't want to go away and my, my throat's really dry now so I'm going to be like you know <coughs> coughing trying to you know clear my throat so sorry about that Anyway, uh, you select your layer, hit A for anchor, anchor point, and you just move, you know, use X, Y, Z, uh, sorry, X and Y um, position to readjust. Make sure he's covered up here. There we go. Or if you want to, you can go up to here. Um, this is the uh, pan behind tool, and this will actually move your uh, anchor point will actually move your object around your anchor point. It won't actually move your anchor point. Um, well, actually, in some cases, it does move your anchor point, but that's that's for another tutorial. <clears throat> so we've got that. Cool. Okay. So we're going to uh, actually rename this cut footage three. Going to rename this. Uh, let's see here. I think it was position. And we're going to do rotation now, which is fairly similar. Uh, let's close out position and cut footage 
issue. Let's open that back up. Let's see here. Okay. I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we're going to do rotation now. And it's pretty much uh, the same thing as our, as our regular um, uh, position tracking. So make sure uh, you know, our, our layer is selected. Go track motion, and uh, you can do position and rotation at the same time, which I'm going to do because our object, um, say you have something that's just rotating but not moving, you can just have rotation selected. But because we have our footage here, it's rotating and moving at the same time, uh, we're going to select rotation and position and rotation. And if you notice, it brings up two tracking points now. So we need two points that we got to track that will, you know, position not so much, but more for the rotation. Um, so now we have to find <clears throat> two points in our footage that we can actually track. So when I did this before, I found that this guy here, this ninja dude here, and this ninja dude here work perfectly. As you can see, they both stay in the footage um, clearly the entire time. So uh, we're going to use these guys. And actually, I'm going to, yeah, I'll leave it right there. So let me zoom in. And let's put this around the first guy. And put the second one around the other guy here. And we'll just uh, adjust our regions. for our uh, ninja dudes here. Okay, and this guy here is actually probably going to track more of the fleshy color on his head than anything else. I can't remember. I did this I did this about an hour or so ago, but I can't remember what tracked better. Okay, so I've got those set up. Let me zoom out really quick here. And I'm just going to analyze forward and it looks like it's going to do all right. So I'm going to uh, analyze for it all the way through. And all right, looks like uh, we did a pretty good job here. Tractor guy all the way through. OK, excellent. So now what we're going to do is, uh, again, uh, right click in your, in your composition area, new, null object, and hit return when it's selected. And I'm going to tracking not tracking tracking data okay so there we go and we're going to go back over to our track controls hit edit target tracking data hit OK and apply is now open and so we're going to hit apply X and Y make sure yep X and Y hit OK and there we go we're brought back to our uh, our uh, composition stage and uh, what I'm going to do is create a new solid. Whoop, wrong one. Don't want text. Oh, you could use text if you wanted to, but you know, I'm just going to you know, use solids. OK. Let's bring this down. And let's, let's make this another, another color. So another shortcut. Instead of going up to effect and going through all your, you know, different um, effects here. All you can do is just go to your effects controls, right click, and you got the same thing right here. So color correction, hue saturation, or you could actually make sure this uh, um, layer is selected, go to layer, solid settings, and change the color. But <clears throat> um, yes, what the hell, I'll do that anyway. So it's now red. Um, you can, or you can do the hue saturation if you want something, you know, a little different than than black. Um, so let's, let's remove hue saturation. And with the layer selected, hit P, and then for the position, then Alt. Click the stopwatch to bring up your uh, expression controls. Uh, take the pick whip, and oh, it's for position. So you want to make sure you pick whip the position of the red solid to the position of the tracking data and then with the red solid selected hit R for rotation because you can see down here the keyframes are in rotation as well and for the rotation alt click on the stopwatch to bring up the expression controls 
and then pick whip the rotation and there you go now we have our red red box is now being tracked or is actually using the tracking data to rotate along with the uh, position pretty groovy huh okay actually let me see how much time I've got here oh shit I think I went over by a few seconds okay